Zionism has been critical to one of the greatest successes of the modern state of Israel, which is its ability to assimilate and to create a single nation, a single people from Jews who have come from so many cultures and so many differences. Because on the one hand, what Zionism clearly claimed is that the Jewish people are a people, that we are a single people and a single nation. It's an inspirational movement. A small people, uh, persecuted, marginalized, founded within themselves the energy, the vision to rise up, to reclaim their homeland, and to be sovereign again, and to build a remarkable country. But when Zionism emerged as a political movement with specific goals and plans at the end of the 19th century, the Jews had already existed for centuries, for millennia, among other peoples. And they mixed in a little, which is why you have blue-eyed Jews and black-eyed Jews and brown and white and all colors. And Jews spoke different languages and uh, had different foods and had a different kind of sense of culture in as much as there was also their Jewish culture. When the State of Israel declared independence from British rule, there were about 600,000 Jews living here. In the next decade, about a million Jews immigrated to the new state of Israel, people from displaced persons camps across Europe and Cyprus, from North Africa and the Arab world, where they were unceremoniously pushed out in revenge for the establishment of the state of Israel. All of these people were absorbed into this society. So 600,000 take in a million in the next decade. I think these are unprecedented and unparalleled proportions.